Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone 3 Cap Mode. So, uh, before we get into the video today, I'd like to ask you all to please like, um, subscribe, and as usual, leave any comments you have for me in the descriptions. Um, yeah. Other than that, uh, make sure you check out Twitter for updates on when we're live with live streams and when these videos go out. Also, make sure you check out Twitch for the live streams every Saturday, Sunday, 1 for Eastern Standard Time, although the schedule should be changing soon, so look out for that. That'll be posted on Twitter when the schedule does change. Other than that, if you uh, want to uh, chill and chat with me and the rest of the community, you can join the Discord. And yeah, all those links in the description. Let's get into the actual video you came to see. So, today, a couple plans. This is kind of going to be a jumping off point for a lot of other things. So, we have our tier 2 advanced crafting grid. We want to get the next tier. I got together some dark iron, black iron for that. So, in a little bit, we're going to work on that. Because the next tier of crafting grid unlocks some high... I was looking at that quest. Oh, that's why I was looking at that quest. We want to claim these. So I did this last time off camera. I want to quickly update you guys. All the stuff we got done in between episodes. So set up kind of a small little thing to... Oh, this needs emptied. I'll... I need to put a switch on this. Let me quickly do that with you guys. All right, so as I was saying, that'll let us get into some more advanced. Astral sorcery. Oh, not astral sorcery, sorry. Um, that'll allow us to get into some more advanced uh, mystical agriculture. That's the mod I'm thinking of. Uh, and that should allow us to... It's off right now, so it should be off. And I'll clean that up later, off camera. Uh, yeah, so... Also, last time, or in between episodes, I did get everything I think I need together for making the unbreakable... This is all off camera stuff. I've been working to try and get this master infusion stone, which is unbreakable, so that we can then stop worrying about having to craft these infusion stones and stuff when we need to craft all these seeds. Also, then we can pretty easily get any of these supremium seeds. One big one I was looking at is Terra Steel because it's kind of a pain. Especially with this amazing mana setup we got set up now. Still does not provide enough mana to really produce enough terra steel for most things. It would take two full fillings of this to even produce enough terra steel to make the blocks needed for the terra steel seed. So yeah, it'd be very very nice to get that. Also off camera, I might have shown you guys this at the end of the last time or that we were gonna do it, but I set up the boss arena for the uh, guardian of Gaia, which is what I want to start off the episode with doing before we get into a bunch of tedious crafting, so we can get something a little fun in. So, we're going to start that right now. I have pretty much everything I should need. I don't really need armor. Because I have this sword, and also the real damage is done by her, like, poison stuff on the ground, and I can fly, so. Okay. I think I know why this is. I really hope that it is the reason that I think it is and not something more complicated. Pretty sure there's all the snow and stuff in the area. Did not intend to do that. Let's try it now. These flower or these the obstructions. What is obstructing it?
Oh, this needs built. It. Okay. Let's shift it over. Also threw away all of this. Man. All right. All right. Done. And put some torches back because if I don't do it now, we'll forget. Plus we need some dirt to fill in that hole. Oh, I also upgraded my dank null. That's just a side note. It's now the highest tier dank null. Not that it matters that much. I just did it so that we could store a little bit more stuff in it. I haven't really been having any problems with storage in it, but I just felt like that was a good idea to get that done. Okay. Now let's get out the Britannia book because we'll need that. The Lexica Britannia. And go to Alpha Mancy, Ritual of Gaia. Visualize. Go. Mm. Mm. Polar bears being very loud right now. Okay. That in place. Put this one, then we should be almost done. Before anyone says in the comments, I don't really need those, those, uh, botania flowers. Okay. See what it says now. Wish that would stay until you fixed it. That little ring. Then we wouldn't have to spend so long. Get this stuff out. Not the way are the K. Okay. That's the last bit of problem. There we go. My flight doesn't work in here. Okay, this could go very badly.
Don't kill me. Does a lot of damage. The music has been made a little bit quieter. No, 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 no. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah, I knew I was dead at that point, and we're gonna lose that fucking damn it. Listen, does it continue? I don't think it does. Let me quickly grab. I don't think this continues. I think it just leaves the mobs there. Uh, Ender. We should have used. But I had an Ender pouch. In there. there it is. We should have used. The... Where's our flight thing? This thing. Because this flight is. Uh... Mm, I don't think stopped by that. Alright, we'll have to make another thing and start that again. That's really fucking annoying. Really what made that hard was just that my flight disappeared. I was not expecting that. Go out bits of random crap and make another terror seal. This time we should actually be able to fly, and we also have a little bit of armor. Uh, uh mana. steel. This goes really fast. <laughs> no. All right. Now, try number two. Nope. Flight still doesn't. What the hell? Does it have flight disabled? Jesus, fuck. Nope, that's my actual health now. What the I'm fucked. Again. Alright, I have to get some kind of armor. Good lord. This is driving me insane. Also, it makes the world really fucking laggy when that ends. Guess we just are gonna have to... No, we can't use this armor because this armor then will have to be... <sighs> Shit. I don't know why the flight doesn't work. I'm sorry, this episode is just going to be this boss fight. I'm going to cut away and build some armor, and then I'll bring you guys back, and we'll do this, because I'm just going to end up getting continuously destroyed, and that is not fun for you guys to watch. So, see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, we're back. Calm myself down a little bit. Uh, Made some armor. Not great armor, but some armor. 
And also, I, I grabbed a stack of god apples from the uh, from our mob farm. So let's try this again. Motherfucker. Fucking teleporting is the annoying part. Take care of the mobs as they come down. Luckily, it's daytime, so they burn, which actually is not so lucky for zombies because it means that they're gonna hit me. Sorry if this music is very loud. Why can't I attack any of these guys? Oh, Come down and fight me. Got her. Finally. Put those away. Those. There's our guy of spirits. I think eight is way more than you normally get. Mm. All right. And we'll leave this armor in here for later. And put the torch that we broke back. All right. So now that we have that out of the way, let's move on to the other things we want to do today. Which includes well the first thing I want to do is get this master infusion stone which means we're gonna need to make a bit of this stuff by this stuff I mean uh, insanium and the uses on this the uses we're worried about on this is this. Um, uses on this we're worried about is the use on that. And then how do we use this to make the next thing is in this neutral steel of some strange degree. This is six degree to make insanium. Oh, yeah, we were on the right use. <laughs> More wither skulls. Um, what was it? Do we not have any more neutral steel? Where's our six degree? This is probably gonna have to just run off that camera. have the stuff, but that's going to take a very long time. Okay. So, got that boss fight done, which means we can check that off our list of things we need to do to get towards the Philosopher's Stone. We can make Black Hole's Talismans now relative with relative ease, since we now have Guy Spirits and the End Area is easy to get. And then this is just too Terra Steel in the portal. Okay. And then we're waiting on some more neutral steel at six degree to make the master fusion stone. So we're not working on that right now. Um, but the next thing I want to work on is crafting. And where is it at? This thing. Nope. Making a 
tier three crafter. So this is infused diamonds. It's not a big deal, I don't think. Those diamonds are the blue ones from Kepler that we have. Annoying thing, I guess, is going to be making four basic tier crafting tables so that we can then make two advanced tier crafting tables and then finally make one elite tier crafting table. Luckily, the this tier one doesn't require anything relating to that. That just requires us to have the elite to make the to actually do the crafting. And actually, we have most of the stuff for this too, which is interesting. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna do that, sadly, since we took up so much time with this boss fight. Next time at the beginning of the episode, we're also going to next time try to, just as a side note. And did that not give me the, oh, it never gave me the quest for the Insanium and stuff. It's gonna outro the video. I need to get those quests completed. Insanium. And Chris, Confusion is the best way to look it up. And this. There we go. And that, that filled those quests, right? Yeah, okay. And then we'll eventually have to make some creative essence actually for the, um, using the Master Infusion Stone for this talisman, or not talisman, <laughs> talking about these talismans, uh, for the creative essence that's needed for the Philosopher Stone. Yep, so next time, Master Infusion Crystal, Elite Crafting Table, and possibly the next tier above it, Crafting Table, which is the ultimate or whatever yeah ultimate crafting table um but yeah that's about it for this episode we're out of time so i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you all next time goodbye guys let's seriously get on out of here come on shoot go have a good day goodbye <laughs>